passionate. Bonkers. Um, passionate. It has to be passion. Fluorescent. I think generous is the word I'd use. You're a class umpire. The most outrageous bright yellow shoes. Caring. To describe Paddy in one word is difficult. Eccentric certainly comes to mind, but I think it was his passion that was truly inspiring. Thank you for everything you've done for Arling Light Hockey. You've been truly inspirational for me, and you've helped us over the last few years to develop the hockey club. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to you, Mr Jackman. Uh, you've always been so supportive of hockey in the school and I know that everyone who played hockey at Ireland and I really appreciated the time and the effort that you gave up to travel to all of our games to umpire, uh, both home and away. Uh, and even though some of us might not have always agreed with your umpiring decisions, um, especially me, the times when you were sick my hand for my foot occasionally. Um, but uh, no, on a, uh, we obviously really appreciated it. And uh, on a personal note, I'm also very grateful for the support you gave me during my captaincy and how positively constructive and complimentary you were of my performance as a captain and also just generally as a player. Um, it really did make a difference to both my confidence and just my time at Arding Live playing hockey as a whole. Um, a personal memory of mine of you is when we called you after we'd just beaten Cranley in the final uh, regional stage, uh, which took us to the under-18 national finals for the second time. And um, hearing how excited and what sort of proud you were of us uh, almost made uh, the achievement even more special for us. And I think that just kind of shows the kind of effect you've had on Arding Line Hockey, um, particularly sort of my years I've been there, making it to nationals, you've been such a like key part of getting us there. Um, I hope you're having a lovely evening and good luck with wife after Arling Line, but um, please make sure you keep on Brian because we know how much you love it. Hi Paddy, I've heard you've missed me so much uh, since I've left Arling Line that you decided to get a job up in Birmingham. But uh, no, in all seriousness, I wish you the best of luck at your new post and I just want to thank you for all your support on and off the pitch, even though sometimes I might have been a bit grumpy. Um, I'll never forget in my upper six season when you rocked up with the most outrageous bright yellow shoes, a sign of a great umpire and a, you know, it's going to be in for a treat of a season. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you and good luck. Cheers. Hi, uh, it's very sad to hear that you're leaving Arden and I. You've been so influential in the development of hockey here at Arding Lai, both the boys and the girls. I know that you've influenced so many players and really helped them in their careers. Um, the first word that I think of when asked to describe you has to be passion. I don't think I've ever met anyone so passionate about a sport, a school, a team. Um, I remember very clearly the day we got through to national finals and um, you were screaming up and down the corridor despite interviews going on for the deputy head. Um, I do wish you all the best luck in the future and on behalf of all old girls and old boys, hockey players, um, thank you very, very much and we wish you all the best. Hi Paddy, just a quick video message from Newcastle here to say thank you for everything you've done for the school and for the hockey club over the years. Um, not just while I was there, but for every single person that you've you've umpired and you've looked after while you've been at Arling Lai. Um, I know everyone greatly appreciates it. Um, uh, if I had to sum you up in one word for your umpiring, it'd be bonkers because you wore those fluorescent yellow gloves and you'd make some big calls um, and you'd make some big noises after I'd make a save, which was I always found very amusing. And it's something that I'll definitely always remember. Um, I haven't met an umpire that's nearly as enthusiastic as you, so you're winning that race for sure. Um, but nonetheless, um, I'd say best of luck for whatever you're doing next. Um, I know everyone at Arling Lai really, really appreciated your, your services to the college. Um, and so, as I say, best of luck in whatever you do next. Cheers. Mr Jackman, it was lovely to see you cheering me on on the sideline in Birmingham on Wednesday. Uh, thanks so much. It was always a pleasure to see you. Um, and just shows how unbelievably supportive you are for both current pupils and your extra students. Um, it's a real shame to hear you're leaving and I would just like to say a massive thank you for all you've done in support of the hockey programme at Arding Lai. Um, you were always so dedicated and your passion and enthusiasm for us all to succeed was like no other. We hugely, hugely appreciated it. You made a massive difference to my time at school personally as well, so thank you also for supporting and encouraging me throughout my time there. One memory I have from you from my time at Arding Lai was your 100th game umpiring for the school on our new Astro. 
I'm pretty sure it was 100, a very big number anyway, and such a massive achievement itself, let alone whatever you're on now, 290 something I believe. You're a class umpire and one of my favourite things has to be that, though obviously you're impartial to both teams every game, I always loved hearing your little snippets of advice or you quietly telling us to get going or work a bit harder as we ran past you on the pitch. Again, thank you and I wish you all the best in the future. I hope you continue to umpire and I'm going to struggle to find someone who can um, rock that yellow t-shirt like you could. First of all, I'd just like to say what a privilege it is to know Paddy. His energy, commitment and enthusiasm to hockey at Ardenlie was truly astonishing. What is a great loss to Ardenlie is a great gain to Birmingham. And I wish Paddy all the best in his future endeavours, both on and off the field. You have been an inspiration to a whole generation of Ardenlie hockey players and we will all remember you fondly. Paddy, I want to thank you for all the time and effort you gave up slaving away up and down the multiple hockey pitches with us. I wish you all the best in the future and hope you come back to visit soon. One of my favourite moments of Paddy was our end of season awards when the team chipped together to get him a matching set of gloves and hat that would go with the bright yellow t-shirt that he used to wear when he was umpiring. The look of joy on his face is something that I will never forget. Uh, good evening everyone, uh, good evening Mr Jackman. Um, the one word I, was use, I would use to describe yourself is uh, fluorescent after those uh, bright yellow gloves you'd always wear every uh, every Saturday home game and also for the fact that when Mr Jackman was on a hockey field uh, you certainly knew about it. Uh, before I joined Arding Lai, uh, I'm sure Mrs Stebbin can vouch for that, the fact that I was pretty awful to umpires at times. I'd like to think that improved throughout my time at Arding Lai. I like think that's down to the quality of umpiring we had. Uh, I never found myself arguing too much with yourself, Mr Jackman, and I think that shows what a fantastic umpire you are. Um, your commitment and passion for hockey at Arding Lai was a fantastic example for us as players, and I, I like to think that our passion on the pitch came through yourself. And I'd like to thank you personally for uh, making me feel so welcome when I first joined Arding Lai. I didn't know anyone, and it was always nice to have a uh, friendly face around the school. Uh, I wish you all the best for the future wherever you go, and I hope you have a fantastic evening. Hi Paddy, it's Jeff here. Um, Reg had asked me to asked asked me to say a few things about um, you now that you're leaving. Um, so yeah, so the first thing is one word to describe you, and I think generous is the word I'd use, just generous with your time, generous with your praise, generous with um, lots lots of things. Um, and yeah, I think it really sums, sums, sums Paddy up as a, as a person, just really, really keen to help, really keen to um, give, give people advice on anything they need, really. Um, a memory I've got, so I guess any hockey match is the, the kind of overriding memory is um, Paddy running up and down in a very brightly coloured shirt, either pink or yellow, I think, fluorescent, definitely, um, kind of running, running up and down the side, umpiring them probably every match I played since he came to school. Um, yeah, um, and also another memory I've got was from the kind of awards dinner at the end of the season. Um, where afterwards Paddy made this speech and um, I can't remember exactly what he said, but I remember just at the end feeling just so, um, I don't know, it was just everything was just so complimentary and really it really felt like every word that he said was really meant and it, it was meant to help, um, to help everyone there kind of maybe see something they hadn't really thought about before or just try and think about something which you do, um, which you can do better. And I just think that's really, really great. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for everything you've contributed to my life, Paddy. Uh, it's probably more than you think. Um, all the time spent on the hockey field and kind of the chats we've had in the bus and to and from games and whatever. Um, yeah, um, so thanks and I really wish you the best of luck for the future. Um, yeah. So thank you very much. Hey Paddy, it's Charlie. If I had to describe you in one word, it would be caring. The reason why is because my favourite memory of you, other than watching you struggle around the hockey pitch in your yellow t-shirt, 
was probably when I was working at the pub after uni and I just told you I'd got a graduate job and you were just genuinely so, so happy for me. I could see it all over your face. Um, I just know that all the kids at Arden Lie that you came in contact with, you really did care about them so much even after they'd left the school. So yeah, you're really, really top bloke, Paddy. And I wish you well in the future. I'm sure wherever you're going next, you'll absolutely smash it. So yeah, best of luck and I hope to see you soon. Cheers. Hi. Um, so the word that I describe you as is dedicated. Um, the amount of hours that you put into Arling My Hockey is just crazy. Um, you're so busy and you work so hard in the week and yet every Saturday you get up and you put on your fluorescent lovely outfit um, and umpire the boys and the girls um, and support them um, and yeah that commitment alone is just amazing um, and I know that everyone really appreciates it. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed my time at Arding Lai, um, having you umpire when I was playing. Um, it was lovely to have someone to support me on the pitch, um, even if I was being a bit of a brat. Um, but you always have my back and my fondest memory will always be my final match for Arding Lai, where we were 1-0 down with 10 seconds to go, we got awarded a short corner. Um, from which I scored and I just remember you going absolutely crazy on the pitch um, and I was so happy and you were even happier um, and that was just a lovely way to round off um, my time playing hockey at Arding Lye with you umpiring um, and it's a memory that I'll always look back um, and smile. Um, but yeah, best of luck with everything. Um, I know that wherever and whatever job you do, um, they'll be lucky to have you.